What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the top five mistakes that beginning homebrewers make. All right guys, so today we're coming to you from our new Tewksbury Tap Room. As you can see in the background, we recently renovated this place, we recently opened it. It's a spectacular place to grab a beer if you haven't already. You have to stop by this place. Mistake number five, messing with your homebrew. So you've had a great brew day, everything went really well, you and the boys maybe had one too many beers out in the garage, your beer's been set aside, it's in the carboy, life is good, leave it alone. Messing with it after you've brewed it can only mean bad things for the outcome of that beer, so leave it alone. If you get a wine thief and you wonder how's it tasting halfway through the process, and you dig into that carboy, the only thing you're going to do is oxidize it and make the final product worse. So unless you're very far along in your understanding of homebrew, if you're halfway through that process, messing with it is very unlikely to result in you being able to do something that will fix it. So until it's ready to be packaged, leave it alone. Mistake number four, overthinking your equipment. That's kind of rich from a guy that's made a channel about how cool our equipment is and how much we overthink our equipment and get really specific on things. We've been at this game for 15 years. It takes a lot of time to get to that point. If you're just starting out or if you're a home brewer that brews once every other week or once a month or something like that, all you really need are the basics. You need a mash tun, which can be a regular cooler with a false bottom. You need a lobster pot and then you need a plastic carboy or a glass carboy. You don't need anything else. Thermometer, all the basics are covered. Don't overthink your equipment. Better equipment, unless you're spending tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars, is gonna result in 1%, 2%, 3% gains, which for you at home is frankly a waste of time. Focus on process, focus on understanding what variables affect the outcome of the beer, and you're gonna be better off for it. Mistake number three. This one might be homebrew tip number one, but it's also a mistake that I see time and time again. To be a great home brewer, you have to develop your palate. So mistake number three, failure to develop your palate and understand what's great. If you understand what's great, you can reverse engineer it. If you understand what's great and you don't taste it when you taste your finished homebrew, you can say to yourself, somewhere I messed up, and then you can go back and try to figure out where. But if you come from a place of not understanding what is good and what is bad, and what is objectively an off characteristic in a beer, I promise you, you can't make great homebrew. So don't neglect developing your palate, knowing what's good and knowing what's bad. Mistake number two, rushing it. I know the feeling, you've made a homebrew, it's fermenting, you're anxious, you wanna try it, maybe you've made some adjustments from the last time you made this beer. I make this mistake, or I used to make this mistake all the time, you rush to packaging. You start Googling how long from grain to glass, when should I cold crash, when can I package my beer? And generally speaking, people will package their beer too soon without giving that yeast a chance to clean that beer up and make it mature tasting. So when in doubt, wait a couple of extra days. Don't rush your beer. The number one homebrew mistake that I see beginners make is they try to do too much too soon. Now, if I try to make an analogy to something like running, if you go for a run and you say to yourself, that was fun, I wanna be a runner, and then the next run that you go on, you attempt to run a marathon, you are gonna be in the hurt zone. So if you equate that to home brewing, brew something very, very basic, understand the basics of mash temperature, understand the basics of fermentation, understand the basics of packaging, and don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't brew a triple IPA with dehydrated ice cream on that first batch. Get the basics down before you move on and don't try to do too much too soon. Learn the fundamentals, baby steps, and you'll get there sooner than later. These tips are geared at beginners, but I promise you they can apply to even seasoned home brewers if you haven't thought about it in a long time. Pay attention to the fundamentals and your beer will be spectacular. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to tell your mom to watch on Sunday morning. And we'll see you next time. Take care.